All right, guys, it's Kesmir. I'm back with The Walking Dead, and we just ran into a complete storm of stuff. Like, apparently, one of the leaders has been going rogue, and David didn't even know about him, and sending his his mercenaries out to rob from the other settlements, and they got a whole warehouse warehouse full of supplies. I, I don't know. I we I, I we killed uh, the bald guy. I forget what his name was already. Um, but we, we kept the other one along. Maybe he can help us get in. I don't know if that was a good thing or not to keep him alive. But hey, we got we got a witness, I guess. We'll see what happens. But... Where's Lonnie? He gave us the slip. Hightailed it back towards Richmond. Son of a bitch. Oh. If he warns Joan... Wasn't there one more? Oh. What? It's good riddance. That son of a bitch killed Mariana. Did that make you feel better? I wouldn't shed any tears if I were you. Maybe I'm shedding them for your brother. I thought it would at the time. Now... Now I'm not so sure. Hold on to that doubt. It means you're still human. Javi's earned my trust. And if any of you had any brains, you'd say the same. I'm sure you did the right thing. Sometimes there's just no other way to make things right. He was gonna turn anyways. My friend took a crowbar to someone once. My people need to know about what we found here. What about your missing friends? I'm surprised you care. Human life isn't exactly high on your list of priorities. Don't have time to keep looking. They'd want me to get home and warn them. So that's what I'm gonna do. Sooner the better. You sure you'll be okay on your own? To be honest, I think my odds are better than yours. I won't forget about you. You have my word. It's a shitstorm out there, man. I don't see how you're gonna make it. One step at a time. We need to get back to Richmond fast. I have loved ones in there. We both do. We all do. I gotta break Eleanor out of there. Once she's safe, I... I'm gonna tell her how I feel. Hey, you said it yourself. It's only as messy as you let it be. Time to straighten things out. We're gonna need allies in Richmond. Lingard and Clint, they're our best bet. If I can get to them before Joan does, maybe we have a chance. I know I was ready to say goodbye before. But I can't do this without you. Can I count on you? I won't be able to pull this off myself. Of course, David. You're my brother. I never forgot that. Even if you did. I'm glad to hear that, Javi. You and I... We should talk. When this is done. If Lonnie raises the alarm, they'll be waiting for us at the gates. There's a way in round back that'll get us around any sentries. We can take Badger's truck. I doubt he'll mind. Come on, we gotta get on the move. Herd's closing in. So why did they even come out here? Talking about the guys that we just killed or whatever. This big can't exactly sneak around, particularly if they're expecting us. Eleanor's in there somewhere. I'm going after her. Lingard brought her to the clinic. That's your best bet. Javi, that's where you'll go to get Kate and Gabe. Then bring them to my house. It's the one with the raven on the hitching post. We'll all meet up there. After I pay a little visit to Joan. Stay out of sight. They'll be keeping an eye out for us. As soon as I can get Kate and Gabe, we'll see you back at the house. Roger that.
I'll scout ahead. What about you, Clem? I'm pretty sure I've still got some friends in the New Frontier. If they know where AJ's being held, they'll tell me. As soon as I find him, I'm taking that truck and getting the hell out of here. Well, you are owed a vehicle. Yep. Keep an eye on David. He may be playing nice, but I'd still watch your back. I'm with you, Clem. He rubs me the wrong way. As soon as I get Kate and Gabe, I'm gonna figure out what's best for us. Well, I hope it involves getting far away from here. But you're no dummy. Your instincts have been right most of the time. I know you'll make the right call. See you when I see you. It makes me a little nervous that... David said to hang a ride up at that corner. Seems clear so far. Let's move. It makes me a little nervous that those two ran off. David and, uh, what's his face? You know Javi Garcia? He used to play shortstop for Baltimore. That Javier Garcia? That's who we're looking for? Yeah, that Javier Garcia. Anyway, sounds like some paranoid horse shit. Guy's a fucking ball player. There's the medical center. Go ninja his way back in here and stir up trouble. We go in, we get L, we get Kate and Gabe, we get out. What about our friends there? Doesn't exactly look like a welcoming committee. Distraction. How's your throwing arm? So is there power? They have power here, huh? Apparently. Look, lights are on. Shit, we need to get the fire crew or that shit could burn down the block. You couldn't have just taken out a window. Hit the trick, didn't it? Find Elle. Tell her we have to move, Kate. You got it. I'll meet you here. This should be fun. Super worried. Like, a lot. Hey, buddy. I'm fine. I'm just fine. They said you guys were denied entry. It's true. We're on borrowed time. The people who run this place, they're ruthless. We have to move. Where's my dad? Is he coming? Don't worry, buddy. We're gonna go meet up with him. Excuse me? David has a house in town. He thinks we'll be okay there. Then let's go. Wait, Javi? While you were gone, this woman, Joan, came by. I felt like she was sizing me up. It was creepy. She implied David was in trouble, like he was no longer in charge. She kept saying Gabe and I didn't need to worry, but it only made me worry more. Joan's been running this place behind David's back. She's pulling the strings. What do you mean? The people who shot you? Answer to her. She ordered raids on other settlements. We found all this stuff from Prescott. She was behind Prescott? David's rounding up allies to confront her right now. Javi, I know you wanted to try it here, but this isn't our fight. We already lost Mari because of these people. Now... The whole place is about to become a war zone. I hear you, Kate, but we can't just let her get away with it. You're not hearing me. This is not our problem. What's going on? Tripp said we had to move to David's house. We're not doing that. 
We're getting the fuck out of Richmond before it's too late. Getting out? You shouldn't even be sitting up. What? What about my dad? We can't just leave him. Gabe, we don't even know who he is anymore. We have to get away before he gets us all killed. But he won't know where we are. Again! I can't go back to how things were before. I'm sorry. I just can't. Whatever. Oh, Gabe, it's, <laughs> Javi. it's the best bet we got. It's all we got. Let's do it. In the room they gave me. Sounds like we might need it. I'll come with you. We'll catch up with you guys. Sounds good. Wow, what's the alternative? Hop in that van and drive circles? Until there's no more fuel left? Yeah. Like you're really going anywhere, girl. Good, I don't want to touch you anyways. It's okay, buddy. She's mad at me. Not you. No, it's not that. It's... You'll think it's stupid. What's up? I just wish Clementine was still with us. We ran into her. Really? I hope she came back with you. I... I wish she was around. I know, I know, she's tough, but... I don't know. It'd be nice to hear she's all right. If we run into her, she could really use a friend right now. Yeah. Me too. We need to go. Okay? Okay. You know this is what David lives for, right? What? A brawl. I only ever saw him truly happy when he was talking about being at war. The world going to shit? I guarantee that was the best day of his life. He gets to live life on the front line. I'm sure it's like Christmas every morning. He definitely could get pretty warlike from time to time. My jaw still aches occasionally. No, I'll bet it does. Took your damn time. Come on, we have to hurry. Wait a second. David told us to come here. He's talking to the others now. Trust me, shit's about to fly. He's gonna need our help. We gotta get on the move. He's waiting for us. There's no more time to lose. Get them to safety first. Then we can go. This is the best way to protect them. They'll be safe here. Don't worry. I'll come back for you. Both of you. You better. Oh, she was pissed at us one second. Now she's like, come back to me. Javi. David, if this is about your brother... Don't pretend like you don't know what this is about. You've got a lot to answer for. Me? You must be joking. Javi! Kate and Gabe? Safe. I knew I could count on you, brother. We're gonna fix this. Together. Of course. Kate and Gabe are safe. I got your back. Thank you. It means a lot that you do. What's going on here? We're just getting started. You smuggled your brother into Richmond despite what we agreed. Clearly, you have no respect for any of us. This is serious, David. You know we can't let this go. You don't deserve respect. Not after the things you've done. What things? What's this all about? She's been ordering raids on peaceful communities, sending your men to murder and loot. Really? Joe, is this true? <laughs> He's pointing the finger at everyone. First Badger, now me. 
That's a serious charge. You come in swinging, you better have proof. Here's our proof. This lowlife was part of the raids. I... Well, Max, what do you have to say? Don't be afraid of her, Max. We've got your back. Me, Badger, and, and Lonnie, we ran the ops. Off Jones' orders. God damn it, Max. I'm washing my hands of this, man. Attaboy. Jones, how could you? The real question is, how could I not? What would happen to us without your fertilizer, Clint? Or your pills, Paul? Do you think our community would survive? I did what I had to, to ensure that we would. It wasn't easy. But someone had to do it. If you had such good reasons, why keep it a secret? I took the hard decisions on myself. All of you remember the winter. How much we lost. Friends. Lovers. Children. I made a promise I would never let that happen again. The raids were just to keep us going till Richmond reached sustainability. We're so close. So close to our dream. Do we really want to risk it all by fighting amongst ourselves? We should all be on the same side of this, David. On Richmond's side. She's got a point. Surely you can see that. She's fucking delusional. Building a dream on the blood of innocence. You don't have to tell me, brother. We lost Mariana to those raids. How many others lost their kids, too? I'm sorry, David. It breaks my heart about your child. It's... It's something I'm going to have to live with. Take them. What the hell? Put them in a cell until I can figure out what to do with them. Don't you fucking touch me. That's an order. They don't take orders from you anymore, David. Uh -huh. You're done here. Yeah. You put yourself before the group. You won't get away with this, Joan. All of this will come back on you eventually. Paul, come on. I'm sorry. My hands are tied. This is not over, Joan. I have friends here. Allies. Well then. That was episode three, guys. Yeah, I was assuming that was going to happen next. That the guards are just going to be on her side. Okay. 84% injected AJ with the medicine. Yeah, it's like... I don't, I don't know. I don't see the whole big deal... The only person who I think I pissed off was Jesus, and like I said, I think he's from the TV series, so he probably just skedaddled like Glenn did in episode one, so we won't see him ever again. Everybody else kind of agreed with me. Yeah, it was savage, but if he's going to turn anyways, if anything, we probably did him a favor, <laughs> and that just made sense to me. <laughs> 53 stuck with David. I don't know. I have, like, no loyalty to her whatsoever. I really don't care. <laughs> Anyways, that was episode three. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, Kesmir out.